When Rob was 11 years old, our family was fortunate to be able to vacation in Hawaii. In addition to hitting the beaches every day, we visited the USS Arizona Memorial in Pearl Harbor and the National Cemetery of the Pacific in the Punch Bowl. And it was at the Punch Bowl, inscribed on the central monument there, that I first read those words which you just heard, which President Lincoln had written to a mother who lost several sons in the Civil, Civil War. The solemn pride that must be yours to have laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom. And it is with solemn pride that I accept this award on behalf of my son, Staff Sergeant Robert James Miller. Some of the characteristics which distinguished Rob, even at a very young age, were an incredible energy, a keen interest in history and military affairs, and an ability to reach out to and work well with people from different cultures. These qualities not only helped him to become the ideal Special Forces soldier, but also gave him a deep understanding of our country's history and place in the world. Rob especially appreciated the freedom which Americans enjoy. And he knew that the United States is, in the words of another Order of Lincoln laureate, Ronald Reagan, the last best hope of man on earth. Rob also knew that there are, and always have been, some who wish to harm our country and its citizens, who are not interested in diplomacy and compromise, and who come to negotiation tables only with the intention of delaying and deceiving. And therefore, a ready and able military is necessary for our security. In words attributed to George Orwell, we sleep safe in our beds because rough men stand ready in the night to visit violence on those who would do us harm. Rob's calling in life was to be one of those rough men standing ready in the night. He was so proud to wear the Green Beret of the United States Special Forces and to serve alongside some of the finest warriors our nation has produced. Rob fought fought well and died honorably. And I don't think there is anything more than that that he would want people to say about his military service. My family is so proud of all he accomplished and we thank the people of Illinois and the Lincoln Academy for remembering and honoring our son and brother. And I also want to thank Governor Quinn who has shown so much regard and for and concern not only for our military, but most especially for Gold Star families, that is, families who have lost someone serving in the military, and the state of Illinois, because of Governor Quinn's own personal interest and leadership, has really set the standard for the rest of the country as far as support and help and uh, just remembering Gold Star families. And once again, I thank you all. <laughs>